Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at a C Sharp application called Word Counter that uses a hash table. Hope you enjoy it. Here we go, team. This is using a hash table to do word counting. So I have a file that has roughly, let's say, 11,544 rows. And inside of this file, I have roughly 2,400 unique words. Now, if I was to use binary searching to do that with 2,400 words, look at the small spreadsheet I did so you could kind of understand this. So if I had only eight words in there, on average, I could find them less than four times. But because I have 2,400, it, it would take me 13 seeks inside of a sorted list for me to find out each word. So for instance here, I did the alphabet A to Z and notice that if I wanted to find any letter that started with A, it takes me five times in a binary search to find that. Now imagine if I had 2,400 words where now it's up to 13. So time starts to compound. So hashing it just goes right in for this with order one. If I wanted this, one, one seek, the hash function returns a number and that number represents the cell offset. So this would return like 19. So the hash value of S is 19. And it would just know, have an are you S, are you S, are you S, oh, okay, yeah, you're S. None of that. So hashing, turns the word into a number, and that is the array index. Okay, so let's see how fast this program is. So I'm stepping through this. Let's click on that, start with this, and F10. Now you've seen my output, and now I'm gonna go get that hash table, F11. And now, does it exist? Yep. Now I'm gonna open up a stream reader, and that file name, is going to go into SR and then I'm going to read to that end of file and I'm going to put all that text into this one variable called all text. Now notice I have all the text in all text and see it looks like a string but what I'm going to be doing is look at here on 108 I'm going to be looking at one character at a time and then based on that character if it's one of these characters then I'm going to go try to put that into the hash table. If it's not one of these characters, I'm going to keep concatenating it with the SB word. And as soon as I get onto a period or a space or a carriage return line feed, I'm then going to come in here and say, hey, does that hash table contain that word we're looking for? And if it's the first time, I'm going to put its value as one. I have found it one time. But if I ever have to look for that word again, it's going to come down to this one. And I'm just going to increment the count. And that's what we're going to run. I'm going to run this program for you and we're going to do this. Ready? So notice I just found the first word and it is deep. And we're just going to hit on this a few times. And notice I'm starting to build my hash table. And notice I've already got five words in there. My first word is deep. So keep banging on this. And I'll let you know when we get our first duplicate word inside the file. Okay, well, it just happened. And it was give. So give, when it did this, does it contains, it said yes. See, I'm only testing for false here. So it came down here and I incremented my count. And now I'm going to turn this one off and I'm only going to do it when it's in here. So the next one is also. So somewhere inside of this list, like right here also, is we're going to start incrementing that. So just going to keep banging that. And notice the count of my hash table keeps going, keeps going up. And now you see what I'm doing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just do a test when the count is 1,400. That means that single word is in that file 1,400 times. Ready? And I just found something. What word is that? That word is the. So somewhere in this list, the word the is there, and it is in there 1,400 times. And the next word is in there 1,400 times too. 
So those are common words, right? And, you know, we expect those to of, a, uh, in. So very, very common. I'm going to take this off now, and I think you understand hashing now. Notice that I have 2,416 words, and all of these are in there for different amount of times. For instance, the word dreams is in there 96 times. And then as I keep going down, you see the word two is in there 3,388 times. It's kind of wild and crazy, right? So that is what a hash table is. So let's go ahead and finish this. And now I'm done with my hash table, F10, and I'm going to return that to kind of like my main program. Now, inside of my local function here, WC word count, I now have all my words. The first thing we're going to look at is we're going to serialize that hash table. And that means take this object and serialize it to disk. We're going to hit F11. And notice I'm going to say, hey, does that file already exist? Because, you know, I keep running this program. You know, before you see it, I've already done it 100 times. So what I want to do, if it's there, I want to delete that file. And then I'm going to open up that file for create or new. And then I have this binary, binary formatter. And I'm going to serialize that hash table. Notice that hash table has 2,416 objects in it. So this ser I'm going to serialize this object to disk. So F10. And then I'm going to close that binary file. And now I'm done. So now I'm done with that. It's been saved. There's a file out on my network now that's called, um, what do we call it? Sample text.dat. And let's see if I can find that for you over here. So you can see sample text. Dot, and it's 46K. Notice that my original file of my input was over one meg. And now my hash table is only 46K. So it's the big difference. So now what I'm going to do is for, I'm going to loop over that diction, the uh, hash table, and I'm going to make it look like a dictionary entry. And notice it's got a key and a value, and that is going to go to the output. So let's move this over there to take a little look-see. So F10. And notice I'm in it now. Let's get this out of the way. And you can see I'm, I'm building that. And I'm just going through there as a dictionary entry for that hash table. Okay. So I'm going to continue to line 36. And I went through all those words. Now I'm going to clear out that hash table. We've got 2,400 words in there. I'm going to clear it. It's going to be empty when I'm done with that. Now notice the count is zero. Now what I'm going to do is remember that file that we just saved? This 46K file? I'm going to go read that back in, and I'm going to make that look like a hash table. F11. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to say, hey, does that file exist? I'm going to open it for read access. I'm going to be using the binary formatter again, and guess what? I'm going to deserialize that file, and I'm going to make it look like that hash table. Now that hash table has 2416 rows in it. Now that hash table is not null. Notice now I'm taking hash table keys, and I'm going to put that into an I collection. And then I'm going to say for each K in keys, and look at the way I'm printing that. So sweet, and they're just going to the output, and we'll put a breakpoint here on 53. It's going through it again. That was 2418 entries, and I'm going to clear that hash table. And guess what, team? We're done.